Well, I when we were making the show, we didn't really think about that. It wasn't really on our minds. I mean, I think it was on the writers' minds, you know, who did an incredible job, the writers, to take complicated things and to make them understandable for a six to 10 year olds. It's pretty amazing. Um, so I think they were thinking about it. You know, I mean, we were constantly thinking about how effective is this as a teaching tool or as a way to understand things um, because it's interesting. I mean, I don't particularly care about the idea of educating people or whatever, or being part of their school or whatever it is, but it is interesting to impart fascinating information and explaining how things work because that's entertaining. It's entertaining to learn stuff if, if it's done in such a way that it engages you and it grabs you and everything else. So I think that aspect of it, I mean, that's been the same in my puppetry work in making shows about real things, about political trends, about language used in the military, for example, terminology and language in, in the military is very interesting. And so I find information just can in and of itself be interesting. Um, but I don't think I ever thought, well, this could really have an impact on children's lives and they'll become scientists and they'll become astrophysicists and they'll become this, that, and the other. That never occurred to me. You know, I just didn't think that far down the road. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even think, oh, I'm going to someday I'm going to be 70 years old. It's like, no, I, I'm going to die in a car accident. I mean, I don't know. You know, who thinks about this shit? I, but then... I went to Latin America, I went to Brazil in maybe 2011 or something, and I did some conference, and they had a press conference at this conference, and there were a lot of journalists there, and they were very excited, and I was like, what the hell's going on? I'm like, in the States, I'm basically nobody. I'm some idiot that was on a TV show, and, you know, who gives a shit? No one gives a shit. I mean, it was popular, and then, you know, Steven... Spielberg said, oh, this is the best kids show on television. Yeah, great. So, you know, that's that. Uh, and yeah, there's some nostalgia and people like, you know, people in the States, they respond to it. And it, you know, it's a classic TV show and blah, blah, blah. But not that well known, not that famous. Then I go down there, I play at UNAM in Mexico City. And there's like 6,000 screaming people going nuts outside the show. It's like, who knew? And I came home, I told my friends, and they were like, uh -huh, yeah, uh-huh. They didn't believe me. And then I, I told the creator of the show, I, I, I've i told everyone who ever worked on the show, I said, this is a big deal. You had a big impact on people's lives. And it's very hard for them to understand that. So it's great. I'm very happy. I'm happy that people liked it and it was meaningful in their childhood. That means a lot to me. It's great. It's exciting and fun, makes me smile, makes me laugh that people respond that way in an emotional way, in an intellectual way. And they'll say to me, I'm an astrophysicist today because of you. I'm a science teacher. I'm a doctor because of you. And that's awesome. That's amazing. I was just doing my job, you know, wasn't anything extraordinary, just doing what I'm supposed to do. That's it. But it's glad news to me that, oh, I did my job and I did an okay job and people were happy with it. So that's great. That's nice. <laughs> mm -hmm.